So now it's time to move on for the test fit. I like to just plop it right on the stair, make sure everything looks good, make sure everything levels up and plums up nice, and then it's time to throw down some adhesive. Whenever I do these pre-assembled skirt boards, I really like to use great stuff subfloor adhesive that comes in the can. It's this foamy product and it's got a lot of really nice characteristics. It kind of fills any gaps and because the can goes so far, you can just really be generous in your application of it. But the other thing I really like it, that's different than say for example using PL subfloor adhesive is that if I put a big glob of PL, I have to really put a lot of pressure to push it down and distribute it. Whereas with this foam product, I can kind of just set that skirt board section in place and it kind of just naturally goes exactly where it needs to go. So I've been using this stuff for quite a while now and I'm a really big fan. All right, so now this is an important part. You're gonna set the skirt board in place but don't get nail gun happy just yet. You can't go backwards after you put a nail in, at least not easily. Remember your crucial points in this installation. It's gonna be your very bottom. It's very important, get out your torpedo level, check that bottom part of the skirt board and make sure that thing is plumb. You may have to slightly adjust the skirt board to get it plumb. It's really important that you get that plumb because again, whenever you go to install your newel post, if that is not plumb, you'll, you'll either have to install your newel post out of plumb or you'll end up with a gap right there. If by happenstance you do happen to not have it perfectly plumb, it's not the end of the world. You can still install the newel post and then, then use a stave shim. Um, and I've shown that before in other videos it, you're just going to make a shim basically with a bevel on it and fill that gap and trim it with your utility knife and that gap will disappear. But it's not an ideal situation. You want to continue to use your torpedo level here as we go along. Make sure the tread is level across as you're nailing it off and then also your skirt board. The two should co coincide. If your skirt board is plumb, your tread should be level and vice versa but you will find that as you move your way down you may have to kind of push and pull the skirt board around to get those treads um, nice and level and tight where they need to be and if you remember our little triangle piece that we cut out earlier and biscuited some slots in now it's time to put that in glue it generously throw a couple biscuits in it and then use one of my other favorite tools that I'll list in the notes, pinch dogs. Uh, pinch dogs are absolutely amazing for this application. They work great. And that's a wrap for this video. Hope you en hopefully you enjoyed it. Here's a little panorama view of the job site work area I've got here. This is towards the end of a job and I was just about done here. So it's a pretty big mess, but i um, really happy with how the whole house came together. Again, pre-assembling skirt boards like this, it's nice because you can work on your feet almost the entire time and uh, it's extremely fast and accurate. I'll cover newel post installation more in future videos, but I'll show you here what I mean by plumbing and squaring the newel post with the skirt board we just installed. You'll see how it works here. You can see how as I set this newel post into place, it just automatically plumbs itself and automatically squares itself. That's the other beauty of pre-assembling a skirt board like this. It makes your newel post installation go a lot faster also. My theory on installing box newels is I want to create an inner grid work inside the box newel and then I want to use a really good quality adhesive to create kind of a wet set for the newel. So I use a ton of PL Premium, that's the adhesive that I trust, put it on really generously, and then whenever I slide this box newel over the top of this inner blocking, as that PL cures, it's just going to lock that thing into place and it's absolutely rock solid. 
another thing interesting about like PL premium is it actually expands a little bit as it cures. So as it cures, it's actually going to expand it and even kind of locks that newel in harder to where it just, you come back the next day and it's just absolutely an indestructible installation. Now, if you remember right here, that 15 degree cut, 10 whatever degrees that I put on the skirt board, that's going to allow a little bit of adhesive to get back in there between the skirt board and the newel also. No surprise here, you notice the tight joint between the skirt and the newel, and it's perfectly level. Now I know some of you are probably surprised I'm not using larger screws or lags, mechanical fasteners on this post, but it's the inner grid work and PL Premium that really make this a rock solid newel, not a giant screw. Um, this is the way I do it, and I've always had great success with it, so um, just some nails to hold it in place until the PL cures is all it needs. You do have to install the piece of molding after the newel post on the bottom tread. Just keep that in mind. The camera isn't going to cooperate with me here, but I'm going to attempt to show you that the newel post is perfectly level. But you can kind of see it here. Very happy with how it all went together.